Islam goes up there. Did I ever tell you the time? I think I've, I've told it on the podcast before. I ever tell you the time that uh, there was this dude that was, I don't want to say who he worked for, but he was a bodyguard, and he talked shit to Leon Edwards when uh, Leon was with me. I brought Leon to a show. Leon did my podcast. Then I brought Leon. We went did a show with Chappelle. Me and him were hanging out. And then afterwards, we all went out to this club. This uh, like after hours party that uh, like Dave, club? David set up. Okay. David Dave sets up these shows like he does the shows and after the shows he likes to set up a party. So he has like a DJ. He brings in food. It's fun hang. But it was at the end of the night and this guy decided he was going to kick everybody out and for some reason <laughs> he singled out Leon Edwards and he got in his face what? And, and, Fantastic. He, and he said like Hey man I fucking told you it's time to leave. Fantastic. And then I got in between him. I said. I know you probably made some fucked up mistakes in your life. You're about to make the biggest one. <laughs> do you say you know what that is? I, yeah. Exactly what I said. I said I pulled him aside. And what he do? And he he like went like a ghost. I go, that's one of the baddest <laughs> motherfuckers on the planet. I go, you're about to make one of the biggest mistakes of your life. I go, I go. He's cool. There's no reason to talk to him like that. He didn't do anything wrong. He doesn't know. He's yeah. here with me. Right. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, if, like, if he you chilled out. If, if you <laughs> <laughs> after he sees him knock out Kamara <laughs> Usman, he's like, oh, no. He idea. sees his life pass before his yeah. eyes when he was watching you, it on TV. You want to go viral, bud? You, yeah. you can, but it's me the wrong way. I was like, if you're going to do this, let me get my phone out. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the guy fucking with Joe Schilling. Like, tried to pick a fight with him before that. It was, he was like mouthing off to him the whole time before that. And Joe's like, Oh, was Jesus. he? Yes. He was mouthing off. I know oh. he was a dick to people uh, at the yeah, bar. No, he, he, he wasn't was mouthing off to him. He was mouthing off to like, other people at the bar. He was mouthing off also to Joe. The whole story is that he. He was just a dick from start. And well, Joe's like, are you kidding me? You can kind of see that. that. Yeah. He seemed like a dickhead. Yeah. Just yeah, the way he tool. was behaving. Isn't oh. that, that's one of the most wonderful instant karma videos of all oh, time. Oh, the, the greatest. Best. It's like yeah. one of the greatest viral videos. Fuck with videos. Joe Schilling. The best. <laughs> but what a mistake. Like, karma put one of the scariest humans alive in front about. of him. You don't know this? No. This is a scene at a bar. Joe Schilling is a friend of mine. He's a world champion kickboxer. Elite, world elite class. strike. Savage, world class. dude. Like, Savage. Like, you would look at him and go, that's not the guy I'm going to fuck with in the bar. So there's a Joe Schilling is at a bar and he's trying to walk past this guy to get to the bathroom. The guy backs up as Joe's walking. He doesn't see him. And Joe bumps into him and puts his hands on him. This is it right here. So this is the guy. This is the dickhead. He's been fucking with everybody. He's talking in the shit. Bar the he's real time. loud and drunk. So that's it's Joe like in the black shirt. It's like Joe, Joe's like, excuse me. And he passes by and the guy says something to him. He turns around. And the guy flinches. See how he just came flinch yeah, he flinches at, at Joe like he's going to hit him. And then Joe Bro. just hits him with that three piece and a soda. <laughs> And Damn. then he walks away like it ain't shit. That's the wrong guy. The I mean, wrong guy. The fucking wrong guy. Boom, boom. And you gotta understand, this is this was the end of a long. He was fucking with Joe and everybody else. The that whole that guy tried time. suing Joe and Joe won. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's Florida. It's stand your ground. Yeah. Like clearly, a guy flinched. Yeah. Like went like that to make him flinch. Yeah. And you don't do that no. to a guy that's a fucking train striker. We need more of this. Yeah. We yeah. need more and of this. He's, yeah. and, and he's and Joe is the farthest thing from a bully, by the way. Like, Super he's, I've hung nice. out with him many times. No, he's the man. He's the man. No, he's no hesitation, dude. though. Yeah. Because yeah. the, the guy was... But the guy was picking his fights. <laughs> he was picking fights with other dudes in the bar, guy. too. He was causing yeah. all these problems with other guys. He was yeah. trying to pick fights. But, I mean, you rarely see people that, like, like get right to it. You yeah. Know? Oh, it's, right It's usually it. like, shut your fucking mouth. Oh, yeah. Who you no, talking no, no. to? Just bink, bink, bink. Wrong guy. That's his language. It was like a reflex. Wrong guy. He's fluent at knockout. That's his language. It's just the wrong guy. Yeah. Straight up. Joe Schilling, he fought in the this battle in Los Angeles. Where he had to fight three times in one night. Three, remember that Last Man Standing and Glory? Yeah. We went there live. It was Jeez. fucking insane. He fought three times, and this against world class kickboxers. And he then fought this three dude who doesn't work night. out came off, yeah. you know, <laughs> his day job at Remax. He was like, I'm gonna get fucked up. 